Hello, hello everyone. Um, I'm gonna talk about the Mimbo window on Ethereum. And actually, the our project name is Ethereum Nine and Three Colors. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, my name is Hwan Sub and I'm working for Nuns, which is a crypto community in Korea. Uh, actually, it is just like a college dorm, so 70 people are living and working together. So it's a very <laughs> weird, weird community. And uh, I recently organized the Ethereum developer community in Korea, uh, developer conference in Korea. Actually, it was for some local communities conference. Uh, so actually, this talk includes um, a lot thing about um, related to Ethereum. So please understand. And also the because it was made made for Ethereum community, so it also includes some basic explanations about Mimble and Bolt also. Uh, so actually, uh, the reason why I started this project is because. Um, in Korea, uh, the nodes is a very uh, weird crypto community. So they are all working about some crypto project, but everyone in nodes uh, is using Kakao Pay, which is equivalent to Venmo. So we do not use um, either wallet to send money each other. Actually, we uh, we have lunch together. Um, often, and we do not split the bill using Dai. So I feel I felt that oh, it is really weird because uh, we are the um, one of the trusted crypto community in Korea. But anyone using anyone is using Dai. So actually, the reason is because uh, it is really hard to find my friend's address. So um, as the UX uh, has been enhanced. Uh, so people are using, starting to use EMS. So uh, I think there are a lot of people in here also who uses EMS. But uh, is there anyone who does not, who has taste to use EMS here? Yes, there. Actually, if we use EMS, it is really easy to reveal all of uh, my some crypto finance history. So it is really easy to know how much you have lent um, from MakerDAO or Compound. And actually it was a very big problem. So I really felt that, oh, we need real privacy of ERC20 on Ethereum. So, this is the reason why I started the Ethereum 9 3 quarters. So basically, Ethereum 9 3 quarters is a some um, gateway to the magical world in the Ethereum world uh, where we can use Mimble and Bustle to send our ES20 privately. So, um, the user can enter into the magical world by depositing their ES20 and once they uh, and train to the magical world, they can use Mimble and spell. And the real layers can aggregate the Mimble and Mimble transactions and submit that using Rollup. And uh, the important thing is that the real layer also aggregates the fee here. So the fee will be aggregated in ERC20. And finally, the user can withdraw their um, ERC, uh, ERC20 back to the model world, um, just submitting a valid proof. So let's deep dive into the technical details of this project. So um, uh, the uh, when I designed this product project, uh, what I thought the really important thing is that the first one is how ZK friendly it is. And the second thing was also how ZK friendly it is. And the third thing was also how ZK friendly it is. So uh, this is the reason why I choose Mimble Wimble. Actually, we can also use the 
um, EDDSA, but Vim, I thought that Mimbo Wimbo is uh, more lightweight and it also offers us a more secure way to build a transaction with a two-way. Actually, uh, if, we, if we build a transaction using one way, like using EDDSA or ECDSA, but it is a much more easier to implement EDDSA on the ZK start. So uh, we have a problem if we make the transaction in one way because it is a little bit hard to prove that the recipient get the coin get the get the coin correctly because everything is hidden. So I I felt that Mimble Wimble is better because it, it's two way uh, transaction building process. So actually, this is a basic form of Mimble Wimble, and uh, everything can be conducted on the baby Jupyter curve. So uh, we can hide the value of the uh, transaction and my private key uh, using the Peter's commitment. Yeah, actually this is the base, because of the basic of Mimble and Ball, so I'm gonna skip this equation. So yeah, because of the input TXO using the output TXO, we can prove that there's no money is printed out of thin air. Yeah. So Mimble Ember transition is uh, composed with kernel and body and proofs. Yeah. And but uh, as we uh, told today a lot, uh, the problem is the linkability. So everyone can see the input output and you can see the transaction graph. So, uh, the one of the important thing was also how to break the linkability. So, uh, I decided to the Zcash's commitment nullifier scheme together with Mimble Wimble. It is because it is possible because Ethereum is a programmable, so we can use Zcash Snarks. So, uh, this is a basic some algorithm of commitment nullifier scheme of Zcash. So uh, we we have a Merkle tree, which includes all the UTXOs, and uh, we can derive a nullifier from a leaf in the UTXO tree, and we will add. Uh, we will manage the spent nullifiers, which is derived, derived from the um, Peter's commitment. So, uh, we can use the, uh, we will use nullifier instead of input TXOs. So here, this is the original Mimbo Mimbo transaction, uh, and this, the right side is the ZK Mimbo Mimbo transaction. So, you can see that uh, we do not reveal the input TXO and we only reveal the nullifiers. Uh, and, but we need to add more proofs to use this one. The first one is um, the first one is uh, the inclusion proofs of span tags, inclusion, inclusion proofs of the nullifiers because we do not reveal the input TXO. And the second thing is that because the input TXOs are also hidden, uh, we, we cannot verify that transaction satisfy the Mimble Mimble protocol correctly because the input TXO is hidden. So we, need, we should um, generate the Mimble Mimble proof using CK scenarios together. So, the transaction builder, because the transaction builder knows the how which input TXOs the transaction builder use, so uh, they can build the uh, Mimble Wimble CK Snars proof. Uh, and the next is the data structure. So 
this is the Merkle Mountain range where we are using in green. Where what 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 is what we are using in green? And um, I thought uh, this is uh, if we use some black two S or ketchup, then it is not some ZK friendly. So uh, I thought we need another node calculation method to make it more ZK friendly. So at first, uh, this is about how we calculate the lift node. So we can calculate the lift node uh, with the multiplication uh, in the elliptic curve using the uh, index of the leaf and the item. So in this system, every node of this Merkle Mountain range is a um, field, field on the baby Jupiter curve. So uh, we can calculate the node with the multiplication by um, of lift position and the item. And we can also calculate a branch node using the two um, childs. So the first one is the left. Uh, it can be calculated by uh, the multiplication of the y value of the left node and the right, right node. And also, we can calculate the peak value uh, using some um, pi calculation. So multiply uh, all the peaks together. But uh, actually, uh, if we make the data structure using this method, it becomes very ZK friendly. But actually, because I'm not a cryptographer, I'm not sure that it is secure as um, uh, as much as um, proven hash functions. So it is actually ZK friendly, but if we use optimistic roller, we don't need to make it so ZK friendly. So if we use the optimistic roller, we can just um, use MIMZ for Blade 2 s But uh, I think that if it is possible, it is better to use this kind of structure because uh, in Ethereum, uh, I think it is better to support the ZK rollup and optimistic rollup together. Because if we also can able to um, support them both of them together, then we can um, we can provide the instant finality. Actually, if we use optimistic rollup. It's, it is kind of a challenge-based uh, some system, so it does not offer the instant finality. So this is the reason why I try to make some ZK-friendly data structure. Yeah. So uh, as a result, uh, this is about the uh, this Peterson Mercury Monitoring Range. Three uh, zk rollup um, constraints, the number of constraints. So it it was about ten million constraints. And uh, if we use the optimistic rollup, then we can uh, dramatically reduce the cost to a part transaction. So uh, actually, it is uh, it is around one hundred. 46,000 gas per transaction if we use ZK roller, but if we use Optimus roller, we can reduce uh, to around 50,000 gas per transaction. But actually, because it is, it also, it, we can reduce it around 10 times, around 4,000 gas per transaction. The reason why it is a little bit expensive now it is because we use some mapping which uses S store, which is very expensive in Ethereum, uh, to manage the nullifier. But uh, about um, a week ago, I implemented also the sparse Merkle trees uh, roll-up implementation. So I think we can reduce it to around 4,000 years per transaction. Yeah, so uh, as a result, we can see the possibility 
of a DAO and DeFi using this project. Uh, because first one, I think um, we need to make this project as a decentralized, so anyone can be a relayer, and the relayer can get the transaction fee using the Moonmoon protocol. But because to reduce the gas cost, it uses optimistic rollup. Uh, it means that it has a consensus layer which use proof of stake. So we can understand this system like a default because the relayer put their stake into the contract and they can get the transaction fee as a revenue. So I think if we uh, if we make some token system, token economy, which uh, means new token for the validator, I mean the relayer, then the overall token, um, some token system can be uh, considered as a DeFi system. So if we, if we can assume that if, if it provides a 1% of infl inflation, then uh, we can calculate the total uh, market cap using the transaction fee of the year. Yeah. So uh, the future work is the first one is optimization, and the second is relayer client, and the mobile client, and the next one is the making the network. I mean the relayers network, and uh, what we have to do is to destroy the hard process. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's uh, destroying the toxic waste using the multi-party computation. So, yeah, so, uh, summary is that it uses memorable transaction and commitment nullifier scheme together. And also it uses the um, micro multi range using some Peterson commitment. And it also uses optimistic rollup. Yeah, this is the implementation and some uh, detail details about this project. And what is really important is that, uh, and because I, I told you that it is kind of a DeFi system, so actually uh, I thought about some ICO once, but. I think mean, we should do it just like green. It means that there's no ICO, there will be no ICO, there will be no pre-mining, and there will be no ninja mining, etc. So, yeah, uh, actually, so I want to build this project together, and I want to do a lot of experiment in the Ethereum ecosystem together, so we can do some experiment like uh, some tax system for the development. So, if it means some token, then we can some allocate one percent or zero point one percent for the for the developer fund, and the uh, the holders can vote using their state to uh, where where do we use the fund? And yeah, so. Uh, uh, if you are interested in build this project together, uh, please find me uh, using, yeah, actually my name is Mons, but you can find me on greencon.org. So, yeah, thank you so much. Any very quick questions? Yes. Yep. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm learning. So you stressed that this is uh, ERC twenty compatible. Right. Does that um, does that mean that this could essentially work with any existing ERC twenty? That's true. Okay. Anything else? Okay. Uh, so how well does it scale? Um, I saw that in your transaction body, you no longer have input. So does it also mean you, you cannot do cut through? Uh, cut through. Actually, I didn't think about the cut through. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it, I for me it was it wasn't it was not an important issue for me. Okay. Okay. Yeah.
transaction aggregator, right? That was the guy that does the proving, the smart proofs, right? It's proof? The smart proof. Yeah, right. So, and this aggregator has to be uh, stacked, has to be, has to have some stake in right. the game, right? Right. So that means who has stake, much stake, does the proving, but this is the one who does see all the all the uh, transactions, right? So we had this problem with the, with the mixing and decoy schemes, uh, could solve this yeah. problem with the unlinkability and stuff, stuff like that. So that means we introduce a new meritocracy mm -hmm. so for people who can see before it's getting mm -hmm. mixed up, right? But uh, even the relayer can see every transition and uh, every the way every the process of transaction building. It is not possible to the link the input and output because it uses the commitment delay wire scheme. So it's like Zcash. Basically, same as Zcash. Okay, thank you thank very you. much. Thank you very much.